one specific feature found on the new all-wheel drive mowers from Husqvarna that many automower owners really pushed for is the ability to do software updates without having to go to the dealer and have them use the AutoCheck 3 program to do these software updates. The new all-wheel drive mowers come with what Husqvarna calls firmware over the air, or FOTA for short. This process is done through the Automower Connect app. You will get a notification saying there is a firmware update available, as you see in our picture here. You will have the choice to either dismiss the notification or install the firmware update. To install it, simply tap on Install and follow the prompts. The first thing you will be prompted to do is to park the automower in a charging station. As you can see here, it tells you that the automower needs to be at at least 20% battery level to start the installation. A little side note here, that is more than they require on all the other mowers that get their software updates via the AutoCheck 3 program. Those mowers require at least 50% battery level. Once the mower is parked, you can see here that it tells you that when the installation of the firmware starts, the lights on the mower will start blinking with a white glow it also tells you that the mower will be disconnected from the app during the installation process and it will automatically reconnect on its own within about five minutes after the update is completed. So with the mower in the charging station, simply tap the install button to start the firmware update. This is the screen you will see on your app once the update begins. You can see here it says pulsating white light indicates that the installation is ongoing. You will see this white light pulsating on your app, as you see in the picture here, and you will also see it pulsating on the mower itself. When the firmware update has completed, you will get this notification telling you that the update is complete. Then all you do is simply tap the done button and it will take you back to the dashboard for your mower, showing it still parked in the charging station. And that folks is all that you have to do to be able to update your firmware on your all-wheel drive Husqvarna automower. If you still have questions about the firmware over the air feature on the all-wheel drive mowers, please be sure to leave the questions in the comment section below or send us an email with your questions at our provided email address in the video. Thank you for taking the time to watch our video. We encourage you to subscribe to our channel so you do not miss out on any of our upcoming automower videos.